your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Every generation seeks to place its mark on the roadway of history, and God has placed a wonderful gift within every individual to accomplish this called unity. Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study. This week we're looking at Hebrews 4 and verse 12, where the Word of God is living and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and spirit. The Word of God has reached magnitudes of generations both young and old, and yet there is something unique about God's Word. Individuals would claim that what this world is lacking is unity, and we all need to come together that there may be peace. What's interesting about that statement is even Jesus prayed for this in John chapter 17 and verse 23. Jesus prayed that the world would know that God had sent him and that those that Jesus had taught would be a reflection of the teachings and the lifestyle that Jesus lived. A life of sacrifice, a life of open-mindedness, a life of narrow way living. Yet many individuals don't live this way, so what would be the reaction of one who doesn't live the way that God wants them to live? Ultimately, division. And it brings up a question with unity, really the body of Christ, which Christ had purchased with his blood, Acts 20 verse 28. There is a missing puzzle piece within the church that you can feel today because God made you special. You see, when you look at how God had designed the church, the church is personified as this body, a body made up of many members, just like your body has hands, feet, eyes, and ears. So does the body of Christ have a head, being Christ, and us being the rest of Christ's work here on earth. But did you know that God has placed every member in the body just as it has pleased Him? There's a place for you in the body of Christ. The only problem is, is that maybe you're unwilling to accept the responsibility that God has placed on you. He would say to every individual who has ever lived in Luke chapter 9 verse 23, If anyone comes after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Friends, if we're going to live a life that is truly cross-generational, let's forget about young, old, small, and tall, and let's start looking up at the hill of Calvary and living like Jesus Christ, the Son of God, because that truly is a life that is cross-generational. I hope that these studies this week have helped you, and thank you so much for being with us for your daily 180 Bible study. If you have any questions, email us or message us on Facebook. Till the next time we meet, God be with you.